took me about two years to write the book and we were living in upstate New York and I remember it as a wonderful time. It was sometimes it was almost dreamlike because I, I immersed myself into the story, into the book and parts of it are like a fairy tale, like a dream and it was fantastic writing it. I, I just started and the, the story evolved while I was writing it. Sometimes my wife asked me if in the morning, you know, do you feel like writing? And I always said, yeah, of course, because I want to know how the story evolves. Sometimes I felt like a medium that, you know, I had to tell the story, but uh, I, I, I was told the story by something, somebody, I, I can't tell you. This uh, sounds mysterious and maybe I spent too much time in Burma, but that's how it felt uh, quite often. It's the, the amazing part about writing that things, stories, ideas, thoughts come out of nowhere. I have been to Burma many, many times and obviously I absorbed a lot of things without even noticing it. And then in the process of writing, things came back. Memories came back I had forgotten. Thoughts came back, uh, ideas, sights and sounds. The love story is so special because uh, it knows no compromises. Tin Win and Mimi are so totally committed to each other, even though they are separated for many, many years. Nevertheless, they always believe in each other. They always believe in their love. And their love is so, they are so committed. It's an unconditional love and it's about trust. A, a total 100% trust between them and nothing, nothing can come between them. And I get so many letters and emails from readers thanking me and telling me that this book has changed their life. It's like a dream come true that you write a book which really touches the heart, the soul uh, of, of the reader.